Welcome to the Senior non commissioned Officer Academy for this historic occasion as we unveil the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force International Honor Roll Wall. I am Senior Master Sergeant Justin Everett, a maintainer by trade, a former Senior NCO Academy instructor here, uh, and I am your MC this afternoon. In 1973, 120 enlisted leaders graduated from the Senior non commissioned Officer Academy's inaugural class. Three of those graduates would go on to be the fourth, the sixth, and the eighth Chief Master Sergeant of our Air Force. Since then, 76,979 students have graduated from this institution across all branches of the Armed Forces. In 1990, we welcomed our first international student, and 32 years later, we have seen a total of 396 international students from 41 countries. That's right. Today marks the first time senior enlisted members are inducted into the International Honor Roll since its creation in 1985. We are honored to recognize the achievements of seven of our alumni and the value they bring to their militaries as senior enlisted leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, to help recognize these honorees, please welcome the 19th Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force and a graduate of the Senior NCO Officer Academy class of 2009 Bravo, Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Joe Ann Bass. much Justin um, and I appreciate you sharing with the audience just a little bit about you and y'all couldn't tell that he's actually from Alabama right <laughs> maybe not there's just a little bit of an accent but um, good afternoon hello Mahaba. ahoy no I'm just playing we're not gonna do that again um, but we did say that I, I worked really hard at saying hello in several different languages this morning and what was interesting is when I talked to some of my teammates on how to say hello in their native tongue, they said, just say hello. And, and everybody will understand. But anyway, thanks for um, so much for being here. Um, first off, I am so excited for every single one of you to be at our Air Force Senior Non-Commissioned Officer Academy. This is a big deal. It's especially a big deal to have seven alum coming here today. And so with that, I do want to recognize their commandant, our Senior Non-Commissioned Officer Academy Commandant, Chief Hoagie Hoagland. If you can just stand up. I would also like to recognize his team and his cadre because nothing here happens without a team. We've learned a long time ago that um, the most successful leaders are ones that rely and lean on their teams and all the talents that they bring. So where are all the cadre for the Senior NCO Academy, if you'll raise your hand. They're all, they're all so in our one and only Senior Non-Commissioned Officer Academy here at Gunter Annex, welcome. And we are so very excited for you to come. You just heard from Justin on some of the accomplishments and the number of students that have um, come through this schoolhouse. What I will tell you um, is that we are transitioning from an academic mindset to a mindset more focused on war fighting than we ever have before. So a mindset more focused on growing and developing our senior enlisted leaders and not just teaching them. We are focused on strategic guidance to enhance operational execution all the way down to the unit level. When I spoke earlier today and I talked about our most competitive advantage over any adversary is the people, it is because we are creating people who can think strategically at the unit level. And so again, we're developing our airmen on how to think, not what to think. And that is what's happening here at the Senior Enzo Academy. And because our relationships matter so very much, the relationships that we have with each and every one of you, you heard General Hecker speak about it yesterday, but we will increase our capacity over 50% of the international partners that we bring into this schoolhouse, and that is important. Again, it speaks to the importance of what we do here. 
I will also say that this senior NCOA just completed its first ever um, Philippine Air Force virtual mobile education team. We were pretty excited to go spend some time um, talking to our Philippine teammates, um, even if it was virtual. We're doing Jordan next in June 22. We are also going to um, Saudi Arabia in November 22, and then also UAE in December 22. So there is a lot going on in our Air Force Senior NCO Academy. Um, I would also like to say again, I'm so honored to be here with seven of my teammates who are all senior enlisted leaders within their respective Air Forces. I will say, I don't know how this quite happened, but we actually have an Army soldier as one of our teammates getting inducted today. And so my teammate from the Czech Republic, who is a command sergeant major, uh, Vladimir Blasek, where are you at? You've got to raise your hand. So I've always known, I'm married to an Army soldier, by the way, and I'm a daughter of an Army soldier. I've always known that the Army wants to be Air Force. And so for one of our inductees to be an Army soldier, and I could tell just the, in the time that we've spent today that you'd love to transition into the blue, I think we may have some opportunities. Um, Thank you. But with that, we all know that again, as I mentioned earlier today, a strong enlisted corps equals a strong military and a strong military equals strong partnerships so thank you so much for um, being here today it's especially heartwarming to see all of the family members all of the friends who are cheering all of the inductees on we are excited to unveil the wall that will forever mark the seven names um, that you, of you guys represented here today um, i would also like to just take an opportunity to thank all of those who have made this day so very special. We already spoke about the folks in the Senior NCO Academy, but there are a lot of leaders who supported to make this all happen. I would like to thank Everett Houghton from Protocol. Is Everett here? I would like to thank Major Merritt, Chief Select Justin Everett, and also uh, Major Allhouse. Thank you all so much for making this day so very special to our guests. And with that, we look forward to inducting them and unveiling the wall. So without further ado, ma'am, we'll do one, two, three, and we'll show the wall. Let's do one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, hit, hit the wall. There it is. There's actually a wall out there that we will take you to. This is simply a picture of the virtual wall. Okay, good. So right now, I would like to invite our 17 enlisted leaders, uh, inductees, and the commandant of the CNC Academy, uh, Chief Hoagie, to come up and join Chief Bass on stage for a big picture. So you can follow Chief Hoagland right now. to join your senior enlisted leaders on stage for a group photo. Thank <laughs> you. 
lift and shift left. Just yeah. one, one meter. There you go. Okay. I think if we get any closer, Awesome. So thank you, Chief Bass, Chief Ogla, and inductees. At this time, we would like to invite those on stage to follow General Brown. Uh, and Chief Bass to view the Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force International Honor Roll Wall out in the atrium. As you depart, we ask the family of our seven enlisted inductees to join them on the way to the wall. Uh, as this place is small, we do ask that the other guests remain in the auditorium uh, while they're viewing the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the departure of our honorees. <laughs> 